on It's Supernatural! John Paul Jackson knew Benjamin Netanyahu would be the next Prime Minister of Israel. He also knows supernatural information about President Obama. Find out what he knows. Can ancient secrets of the supernatural be rediscovered? Do angels exist? Is there life after death? Are healing miracles real? Can you get supernatural help from another dimension? Has the future been written in advance? Sid Roth has spent 30 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid on this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest, John Paul Jackson, is a proven prophet. As a matter of fact, John Paul, uh, before we tell them of the what you've seen, which is the next 10 years and what's going to happen in the future, just so they get to know you a little bit better, uh, the Space uh, Shuttle Challenger, right. what did you see about that? I saw it, I saw it actually exploding before, before it ever, ever, ever was launched. And so I, I actually called NASA and uh, told them there were some problems, told them what I saw, and I got the answer was, well, Mr. Jackson, thank you very much for your concern. Thank you for calling. There's thousands of check and balances and fail-safe systems, and nothing's going to happen. That must have been pretty frustrating. On your it was part. frustrating. I thought, well, I, if it, you know, it's probably me. They're probably right. I'm probably wrong. Probably my dream really wasn't worth it. I mean, or, or vision what wasn't really what I thought it was. And then, then so when it hit the next next day, I was just shocked. My whole staff was shocked because I told them I drew it out. I drew pictures of it. Everything. Uh, listen, when you were on my radio broadcast, uh, we talked about uh, Netanyahu from Israel. Yes. What did you say? Well, the last time we, I was on your program, we talked about Netanyahu and who would be the next prime minister of Israel. Right. And uh, you helped me reveal that <laughs> Netanyahu was going to be the next prime minister of Israel and that he was chosen by God to make very, very difficult decisions. And as I recall, you, you said it was going to be in a difficult period of time. Yes, a uh, very difficult period of time for Israel. Now, when you were 13, uh, you, you should have died. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened? Well, when I was 13, I had encephalitis. I came down with encephalitis, which is a swelling of the lining of the brain. You can take a look online and you'll find out that there's been several people, well-known people, just in the last 10 years that have died from it. And I, I, was, I should have died from it. In fact, I did die from it. I left my body, had an out-of-body experience. I saw my mother and father and doctor and pastor crying and, uh, and looked down at me laying there on the bed and, and uh, I wasn't there. I mean, my body was there, but I wasn't there. You were observing it. And what was. was your mother doing? My mother was crying out to God, reminding him of a promise that he made to her before I was even conceived, uh, that I would speak the plans of God, I would have an 11th hour ministry, and that I would proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to, to people. And actually, as you explained it, an angel came to her. Right. An angel, she had had a miscarriage. And so an angel came to her and spoke to her and said, you grieve no longer, you're going to have a child, you'll name him John Paul, and he will have an 11th hour ministry, and even your pregnancy will be a sign of that 11th hour ministry. And she was pregnant with me 11 months, documented 11 months. And in my opinion, the purpose that John Paul Jackson has on planet Earth, the reason that his life was spared, the reason that an angel visited his mother, is for him to reveal what is going to happen in the next 10 years and it's going to happen in a number of areas. In fact, John Paul Jackson, you only spoke privately of it and just recently mm -hmm. you started speaking about it and almost as fast as you're speaking the things are coming to pass but there's so much, in yeah. fact, let's take a look right now at them. Okay. Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin said the war has started as Georgian's president accused its neighbor of a war plan. Well, tensions are still simmering in the Xinjiang region of China, and the death toll now stands at 184 from last week's riots, according to state officials. 
shocked by a one-two punch of an economic downturn and the loss of half its congregation due to the divorce of its celebrity pastor, the future is uncertain for this once 22,000 member congregation. last week that we Americans do not consider ourselves a Christian nation or a Muslim nation, but rather... It was Senate for sale in Illinois where Governor Rod Rogovich was arrested Tuesday for a corruption crime spree. Vice President charges Hopeful he John Edwards has admitted to an ongoing affair with a 42-year-old aspiring actress turned political documentarian named Riley Hunter. Stock slid Monday with the Dow slumping nearly 778 points and the biggest single day point loss ever. This the after the House rejected this morning is news spread that New York investor Bernie Madoff may have built billions of dollars from investors using a so called scene. Ten North Texas earthquakes that occurred over a three-day period this past week have led many to ask one question, why? The two falls in Texas have been... today as the public health authorities worry about the new flu strain that could prove more dangerous than at first expected. Now, what you don't know is I have a DVD here in which John Paul Jackson is prophesying all these events that you've just seen and so many more. He, he has been given a window into the next 10 years. Uh, John Paul Jackson, some of the things that you've seen about our economy, I'm, I'm sure everyone's interested in that. Tell us a few. Well, some of the things I saw was the issue of, of the corruption that would, would be taking place, and there's way more corruption still going to happen uh, and will be exposed. There were some things regarding the, the bailout program that was, that was announced last fall. Uh, before it happened, the Lord showed me that that was going to be happening, and there would be even more that more bailouts that would happen. There would be programs that would be implemented that would be more injurious to our economic structure than had previously been thought. But they would the there would be a surprise element in them, and uh, and they would they would not help our economy at, at all. In fact, it would be very destructive to the economy. The Lord began to, to talk to me about about this uh, a man who would be elected, who would be a savior. He would see himself. As, as a savior, a liberator of, mm -hmm. of, of some type, and that in that he would then seek for to put in programs that would be, again, injuriously injurious uh, to the economic structure of the United States. And those, those programs would be designed to help the people he was trying to liberate, and it now, would not be a good thing. Hmm. Now, you saw some specific dates. What were they? I saw year 2010 was going to be very, very difficult, especially as you get further into 2010. I saw the year, I kept hearing an angel saying in a deep, loud voice, the woes of 2012, the woes of 2012, the woes of 2012. I don't know what those woes are, said the, the angel did not tell me what those woes, but, but it was more, there was more emphasis on those woes than almost anything else that I was, I was given. I can't wait for you to hear in some of the other areas that he found out, especially geophysical and wars. Don't go away, we'll be right back after this word. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! For he himself is our peace, who has made both Jew and Gentile into one, and broke down the barrier of the dividing wall. His purpose was to create in himself, to create in himself. His purpose was to create one new man, one new man, one new man, Adin Novi Chalyak, the Adam Hadash Echad, one new man. We now return to. It's supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with John Paul Jackson, and John has been given a vision from God of what will happen in the next 10 years. And in the geophysical, there are some amazing things about ready to happen. What did you see? Some of the things I saw that were going to be coming were, were quite shaking, and uh, one of them was the issue of drought and the issue of water becoming very, very expensive. And at some point in the future, there'll be cities that water from the tap, right from your kitchen mm -hmm. faucet, will be more expensive than, than oil is. So it's not like talking about going to the store and buying a gallon of water. We're talking about water that's normally fairly mm -hmm. inexpensive becoming very expensive. In fact, <clears throat> some of the things that I saw was there would be various cities in the United States 
that would have to evacuate thousands of people because there wasn't enough water in the reservoirs and in the aquifers that they get the water from uh, to give water to all the people. Uh, what about food? I saw the, a blight coming to hybrid seeds, and that would bring a, a type of famine to the United States. So the hybrid seeds that have been propagated by various large, huge corporations, supposedly resistant to all kinds of things, there's something in the DNA structure of how they've propagated everything, and it will actually allow for a blight to come. Some of the seeds won't break the ground. Some of the seeds will break the ground but never bear fruit. And so you'll end up seeing maybe green out in the fields. There'll be enough rain for them in certain areas, but there won't be, they won't come to, they won't come to seed. So there won't be the corn that would be normally in the ear. There won't be the wheat that is normally in the head of wheat. And so that creates a major, a major food shortage. Uh, will that increase crime? Which would increase crime, right? Crime. What did you see? Well, crime, I saw crime increasing for several reasons. One, economically, because there's so many people unemployed, where double digit, double digit unemployment. And I've been talking about as high as over 12% unemployment before it's all said and done. Uh, and that was way before, you know, way before. Right. Unemployment, at that time, it was 4.5%, I believe, when I started talking about it. But I also saw unemployment because, because of, um, the economic decisions that are going to, be, going to be made, but also saw the food shortage then further harming the, un the unemployed because they, food would be so expensive they couldn't afford to get it. And so then you end up seeing people actually robbing um, food trucks that would carry food to grocery stores. And there, the day would come when there would have to be armed guards riding with food trucks in order to keep the food truck from being waylaid or hijacked. Sounds to me like there's going to be a great deal of fear going on. Yeah, that's uh, the, one of the plans of the enemy. Well, there's going to be fear because of just God saying, I'm God, you're not. And right. wanting to return the fear of God to, to the church first and foremost and then, and then to, the, to the nation. But one of the plans of the enemy is going to try to capitalize on that fear. So you have enemies of the United States that are going to be doing issues. Both China as well as the Islamic community are going to be doing things to the United States that are going to be gen to generate fear. And so they're going to be doing things with the school systems. They're going to be doing things with malls, shopping malls. There'll be explosions in shopping malls that will make people afraid to, to go to high traffic areas like, like malls would be. As a matter of fact, you saw a lot of malls closing down. I did. I saw malls, a lot of malls closing down. And, and interestingly enough, because of the storms that happened in some of the cities, the malls were actually used as housing for the people who didn't have homes. Hmm. Uh, and then you saw a migration of people out of the big cities. I did. I saw uh, a migration of people out of big cities because of the fear that was there. There was fear of what would happen in the school systems. There was fear of what was going to be happening in the uh, in just high traffic volume areas. Various bombs that would go off and people would be killed. And so people were afraid to go in. Almost like suicide bombers in, in Israel when they had suicide bombers on the buses and things, which, by the way, is going to be increasing. But uh, it is happen going to be happening here in America not just suicide bombers, but actually bombs that, that would be left in various places that would detonate at a certain time. People are going to be moving to rural areas in order to keep their children safe from the urban urbanization uh, and fear issue. You literally saw people digging up pavement to plant Explain. And, yes, and there were there was a couple of cities where people in various various uh, inner city areas would actually try to dig up the pavement. They would uh, get high, unused uh, backhoes and use that to try to pull the, the asphalt streets up and try to then plant uh, seeds underneath the uh, in the dirt underneath the asphalt streets. What about in the areas of war? Well, uh, areas of war is going to become increasingly more and more hostile. The issue with, with North Korea is not as trite as a lot of Americans might think it is. And what they're going to be, what they're going to be doing, especially in furnishing materials to other nations, is, is scary. Uh, and will actually lead to some detonation of some thistle material. The issue of uh, Pakistan is probably the most serious of them other than Egypt. And the issue, I saw Pakistan turning into a terrorist community that it will cease being friendly to the United States. It will be overthrown in some, in some way. I'm not sure whether that's a military overthrow or a coup or how all that works. I saw, I saw bits and pieces. You see the result, but you don't know sometimes exactly what, what the process was. And uh, you, then I, saw, you saw a dirty bomb. 
going off in America. I did. I saw, I, I saw more than one dirty bomb going off in America. And the first one I saw was in a port, a coastal city. And, it had, and the city, I didn't see the name of the city, but I saw tunnels underground in the city, and I saw those tunnels full of water. And you, you saw a, a nuclear type of material right. being secretly brought into the United States. Right, in, in underground passageways. In underground passageways, and I, and can you be more specific? Where were they coming from? Uh, it looked like because it looked like it was coming in, in an arid air area, so it looked like it would be from the Mexico, the, the, the Mexican border, and so I, I would assume that it would be from that direction versus the Canadian border because of the arid area that I saw it coming coming through, but I also saw things like um, some type of biological warfare coming through that 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 the Islamic community would pay some of the people in Mexico, to, uh, like mules, to carry um, biological and chemical weaponry mm -hmm. in these tunnels to the United States and then uh, release them in, in certain areas or deliver them to somebody who would release them in, in, in a large populated area. I'll tell you, I wish we had more time to cover all of the things in all of the areas that he saw, but the most important area we're about ready to cover, and that is a visitation of the glory of God, that if you have one iota of fear, all you have to do is get on God's team and fear will vanish. Be back right after this word. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! God has shown proven prophet John Paul Jackson that a perfect storm capable of bringing unprecedented calamity is coming to America. The storm will be made up of five elements. War, politics, economics, religion, and geophysical issues. What is going to happen and how can you prepare? Call now to receive your copy of John Paul Jackson's DVD, The Perfect Storm, for a donation of $18 or more. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 1240. On this DVD, John shares what God has shown him taking place over the next 10 years, including unemployment skyrocketing and the dollar drastically losing value, value of rural land increasing as people flee big cities due to food and water shortages, rare weather patterns including tornadoes with winds over 350 miles per hour and hurricanes spanning over 500 miles, an assassination attempt on President Obama's life by Islamic extremists and Islam's efforts to infiltrate the U.S. government. But even in the midst of these dark times, God is preparing a way for his people. John shares what he has seen of a coming great move of God and how God will supernaturally provide for and protect those that love him. Call now to receive your copy of The Perfect Storm for a donation of $18 or more. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 1240. Call now or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 1240 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Sid Roth here with John Paul Jackson. And John Paul Jackson has been showing a window into the next 10 years of what is going to happen in the world. And uh, John Paul Jackson, what's going to happen here in the United States in the political area? Well, the Islamic community is going to continue to make inroads into the, into the political arenas. They've got a... a uh, multiplication project that is designed specifically on their part. It's a hundred year plan. At least that's what the Lord showed me. A hundred year plan that they have that um, and I'm not saying that it's going to be a hundred years before the Lord comes back. It's their hundred year plan. Right. So, But their hundred year plan is basically to, to have a president in the office of the, of, uh, an off, uh, the United States, a president of the United States in office by, by 2024. Hmm. That their, their plan is to have, before that date, to have uh, mayors of cities, governors of states elected and in place before then to have um, congressmen and senators in place before then and then after that to have a judge, have uh, more than one judge on the Supreme Court in order to change the laws and, cre and implement more of an Islamic law into the United States. Laws. Now what did you see happening in schools in the United States as far as uh, Islamic prayer? Islamic prayer, actually Islamic prayer would be allowed and Christian prayer would not be allowed. They would make it's time 
right? It's outrageous. It's unbelievable. I, I, when I saw it, I thought, surely not. Surely not, Lord. But they, they will. They will allow, because of, of the fear factor, they're going to allow Islamic prayer in the, United, in the school system in the United States, but not Christian prayer in the United States. They will allow time for Islamic children to pray, but not time for Christian children to pray. Uh, what, what did you see about President Obama? Uh, I saw that, that there was going to be uh, an attempt upon his life. By who? I saw that it was going to be by the Islamic community, but make it look like it was racially motivated. And of course, we're, we should pray that this not happen. But if it happens, what would occur? Then there would be incredible race riots in the streets like we've never seen before in this nation. And it would be, it would be worse than Rwanda. And with all this devastation that you see, right. You saw the glory of God invading planet Earth. Tell me what you saw. Well, the Bible talks about a time of Jacob's trouble, a time of incredible hardships, incredible difficulties. But a lot of people don't look at, at what the Lord said about the Jacob generation. The generation is going to see that trouble is also going to see his glory. For in Psalms 24, it talks about the, the glory of God that's going to come in. Who is this king of glory? It, it, that, is, that is the chapter that, that asks that, that incredible question. And it talks about what is going to happen. He ascends to the hill, uh, to the mountain of the Lord with clean hands and a pure heart. He's not lifted up his soul to vanity. These, are the, these type of people are going to see incredible things of God. And what I saw was I saw the glory of God invading his church again. I saw the glory of God invading, invading homes again. I saw the glory of God invading places of worship. Get, get specific. The glory of God, what I saw was like, it was thick, it was honey-like, it was like you see on the road. On a hot day, you'll look down the road and you'll kind of, you'll see a shimmering on the highway. Well, this happened in the, in the churches that I saw and in the places where the glory came down. There was a shimmering like a, a, a cylinder, a large cylinder uh, or, and varying sizes of cylinders of this, this shimmering, honey-colored, amber-esque colored uh, light. And, and, but it was very thick. When, it was thicker than what you thought. When you got into it, you found it very difficult to move, not because you were paralyzed, but because of the thickness of the presence of the Lord. And whoever entered said, anybody who walked into that glory was healed. Anybody. Oh, anybody I love it. Let it healed. happen on this show. <laughs> and I wa- Amen. And I watched people, I watched mothers and fathers cry out for their children in that, in that cylinder of glory, in the glory of God. I watched them cry out. And before they were done praying, the, the children ran into the sanctuary, ran into the place of worship, ran into the home, declaring that they had been touched by God and they, want, they were giving their life to, to the Yeshua and the, giving their life to the Messiah who they had now seen. You saw multiplication of food. Explain. I saw multiplication of food. I saw where there's no food on tables. People, this Jacob generation would close their eyes and pray and they would hold hands in unity and while they were praying, food would be put into the pots that were on the table. They took the, the lids off the pots and there was the food and they gave, they delivered and dished out the food to the people who were praying there. And this didn't happen in one location. It was multiple, multiple locations. God is drawing us back to a purity of relationship with Him Speaking through Jesus. Speaking of purity, you saw in the church no absolutes. What did you mean? Well, I saw there a, a, a growing time where the church failed to realize the absolutes of God. They began to diminish the word, and they, so there was no absolute way to get to God, and then there became no absolute one God. So then you, it, it ended up being more of a polytheistic view of God or a many types of God, and each one of us have our own our own well, gods. You saw horrible the church. In, immorality in the church. I saw horrible, horrible immorality in the church that was going to be I mean, exposed. Some of the things you talk about here, it's, it, it's, it, it's difficult to, to even express publicly. It is. It, it, is, it is so vile. It is so ugly. But there's got to be a separation right. of, the go- of God's people, of Jacob's generation, right. and, and everyone else. And it's, a, it's a Malachi 3 passage. says, and there's a clear distinction between those who know God and those who don't know their God. And that's what we're going to be to see, Sid. We're going to see a clear separation, a clear distinction. We're going to see leaders arise in the midst of turmoil. We're going to see people with ideas that meet the needs of people in the midst of turmoil. We're going to see people with innovations that meet and facilitate uh, the the delivery systems and systemization of things. And these will be the believers that God shows his secrets to. Wisdom. Supernatural wisdom, exactly. It's the Issachar. Here's a, here's a verse that's very important. It's found in Psalms 25:14. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear Him. 
Now, what is the secret of the Lord? It's anything that God hasn't revealed. Meaning, how do you do this? What is the secret to DNA? What is the secret to to this particular type of of healing process? What's the secret to to various things? And you're going to have people being given secrets from the Lord because he's going to keep his covenant with them. And I have a word for you. Psalm 91. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Why? Because you have made the Lord, who is your refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. Listen to this. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. You shall call upon me and I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you. I will honor you. With long life I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. You know, a lot of people have long life today because medical science, but they're not satisfied. There's only one satisfaction and that is to have God say, You're my friend. The only satisfaction is intimacy with God. The only place for you is to know God. The only way is through Jesus. If you get right with God, repent of your sins and tell Jesus you want forgiveness, you want him to live inside of you, you want him to become real, you want him to become your Lord, do it now. God has shown proven prophet John Paul Jackson that a perfect storm capable of bringing unprecedented calamity is coming to America. The storm will be made up of five elements. War, politics, economics, religion, and geophysical issues. What is going to happen and how can you prepare? Call now to receive your copy of John Paul Jackson's DVD, The Perfect Storm, for a donation of $18 or more. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 1240. On this DVD, John shares what God has shown him taking place over the next 10 years, including unemployment skyrocketing and the dollar drastically losing value, value of rural land increasing as people flee big cities due to food and water shortages, rare weather patterns including tornadoes with winds over 350 miles per hour and hurricanes spanning over 500 miles, an assassination attempt on President Obama's life by Islamic extremists, and Islam's efforts to infiltrate the U.S. government. But even in the midst of these dark times, God is preparing a way for His people. John shares what he has seen of a coming great move of God and how God will supernaturally provide for and protect those that love him. Call now to receive your copy of The Perfect Storm for a donation of $18 or more. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 1240. Call now or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 1240 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. If you are encouraged and helped by these television programs, please consider assisting us with future productions. Send your tax-deductible gift to Sid Roth, Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia, 31521. Call toll-free 1-800-548-1918 or visit our website at SidRoth.org. Uh, shuttle Challenger. Right. What did you see about that? I saw it. I saw it actually exploding before before it ever 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 was launched. And so I, I actually called NASA, and uh, told them there were some problems. Told them what I saw, and I got the answer was, well, Mr. Jackson, thank you very much for your concern. Thank you for calling. There's thousands of check and balances and fail-safe systems, and nothing's going to happen. That must have been pretty frustrating. It was part. frustrating. And I thought, well, I, if it, you know, it's probably me. They're probably right. I'm probably wrong. Probably my dream really wasn't worth it. I mean, or, or vision wasn't really what I thought it was. And then, then, so when it hit the next next day, I was just shocked. My whole staff was shocked because I told them I drew it out. I drew pictures of it. Everything. Uh, let- the brain. You can take a look online, and you'll find out that there's been several people, well-known people, just in the last ten years that have died from it. And I, I was—I should have died from it. In fact, I did die from it. 
I left my body, had not a body experience. I saw my mother and father and doctor and pastor crying and, uh, and looked down at me laying there on the bed and, and uh, I wasn't there. I mean, my body was there, but I wasn't there. You were observing it. And what was. was your mother doing? My mother was crying out to God, reminding him of a promise that he made to her before I was even conceived. Uh, that I would speak the plans of God, I would have an 11th hour ministry, and that I would proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to, to people. And actually, as you explained it, an angel... On It's Supernatural! John Paul Jackson knew Benjamin Netanyahu would be the next Prime Minister of Israel. He also knows supernatural information about President Obama. Find out what he knows. Can ancient secrets of the supernatural be rediscovered? Do angels exist? Is there life after death? Are healing miracles real? Can you get supernatural help from another dimension? Has the future been written in advance? Sid Roth has spent 30 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid on this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest, John Paul Jackson, is a proven prophet. As a matter of fact, John Paul, uh, before we tell them of the what you've seen, which is the next 10 years and what's going to happen in the future, just so they get to know you a little bit better. Uh, the space, listen, when you were on my radio broadcast, uh, we talked about uh, Netanyahu from Israel. Yes. What yeah. did you say? Well, the last time we, I was on your program, we talked about Netanyahu and who would be the next prime minister of Israel. Right. And uh, you helped me reveal that Netanyahu was going to be the next Prime Minister of Israel and that he was chosen by God to make very, very difficult decisions. And as I recall, you, you said it was going to be in a difficult period of time. Yes, a uh, very difficult period of time for Israel. Now, when you were 13, uh, you, you should have died. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened? Well, when I was 13, I had encephalitis. I came down with encephalitis, which is a swelling of the lining of...